A proposed housing development for Somali American families in Lakeville is under investigation by the state attorney general. We first told you about this last night. Investigative reporter Eric Rasmussen is here now with the details about the allegations that the developer is misleading customers. And for its part, the AG's office says those customers collectively have already paid more than $1 million to live in a community that, as of right now, does not exist. The developers insist they will finish the project, but they may have to answer to a judge first. Tree-lined streets with beautiful new homes, even a community center. This is what Nelosha Lakeville looks like online. In reality, these 40 acres just off I-35 remain untouched. And now the Minnesota Attorney General's office wants to know why. We offer more than just homes. On Nelosha's website, CEO Abdullahi Abdullahi describes a walkable community specifically for Somali Americans living in Minnesota. But as Abdullahi's company collected $25,000 pre-reservation fees from families, the AG says Nelosha has not even completed the purchase of this land. One big snag, the previous owners of the property include a defendant charged in the massive feeding our future fraud investigation. And the land is still tied up in that legal action by the federal government. In a motion filed late Thursday, the attorney general says, despite representing to customers that their reserved homes would be move-in ready in November 2023, the reality of the development project is bleak. The city of Lakeville says no plans have been submitted for the city to conduct any type of review. All of it prompting investigators to tell the court the state AG has reasonable grounds to believe Nelosha has violated, is violating, or will violate Minnesota law. An allegation Abdullahi denies. The challenges facing our community are only getting worse. He declined multiple interview requests, but tells Five Investigates Nelosha still has 1,400 families on its waiting list and that the government's motion is without merit and is based upon misinformation. State investigators are now asking a judge to force Nelosha to provide more information about the status of that project in Lakeville. There have also been questions about whether customers who want out can still get all of their money back. I can tell you I've asked Abdullahi that question twice over email in the last 24 hours, and we're still waiting for an answer. Yeah. Lots of questions and $25,000 ahead of time. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money for families. Okay. Thank you, Eric. See what happens.